What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and we have a massive one here from Nearhub. We have their brand new 55 inch interactive collaborative board, and this is not, guys, this is not a standard board. So one, we all know is an interactive whiteboard. Two, most interactive whiteboards are straight up like Android devices, basically. This is not one of those devices. This runs full Windows 11 with their own suite of apps and all kinds of really cool stuff to basically give you all the functionality of a whiteboard in the technological age, including built-in cameras, 4K 60 cameras, by the way, 4K cameras, microphones, and a ton of really great stuff, including something I think should be in all televisions and whiteboard solutions. The ports are right here in the front of the monitor, which means uh, even in this 55 inch screen, if I want to plug something in, plug my laptop in to show something, it is right there in front. And that's super exciting to see. They were also nice enough to send over the stand. And I think on their website, they actually have a deal to get a free um, desk as well, but definitely check out their website to make sure. Um, they always have a ton of great stuff and a bunch of great deals. I am so excited to try this out. I was just talking about wanting to have a new collaborative system where I can have my calendar, my notes, take meetings, do all that stuff. This is going to help me so, so much. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into opening everything up. First off, we have the stand, I would assume here. So uh, we're going to open this bad boy up and uh, see how hard this is to put together. <sighs> yeah, so this is the Easel Studio TV cart. So it's a full cart that's going to let us uh, mount the television using the base adapters here. That's really cool. So I'm going to get into this and we'll go from there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take some of these parts out and get started. Very sturdy steel here. I guess it would have to be. All right, so now the next step is getting some wheels onto these legs here. Hopefully all can see me with the wide angle, but um, yeah, let's get that all installed. I'm gonna take these two out. Actually, we'll take all four out. All right, so we're gonna grab one of these and uh, just screw this into the bottom here. Very hefty screws as well, so this is not going anywhere once it's screwed in. Um, it's always hard to kind of screw these in because the wheels are uh, obviously spinning at the same time, but uh, they included a wrench for this, so it's actually pretty easy once you get it started. So let's go ahead and grab that. The wrench is A2, so we'll take that out. And just like this, we're just going to screw it all the way in. Make sure you take your time with this because we want them nice and secure. We are putting a massive and very advanced screen on this so we don't want it to be damaged or anything like that we're gonna go ahead and go to the second one all right two down two to go and we're on to the last one here of course there's dog hairs because as any dog owner will tell you their hair will get everywhere even if you haven't opened something yet the second you open it dog hair just happens all right, so we have two stands down now. Uh, we want to get the uh, table right here, right in between. And I believe these are with the uh, B2 bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of those. And yep, they're all in order and we have the B, oh sorry, these are B1 bolts, not B2. Okay, so B1 bolts. And we're just gonna put these bottom ones in first. And we're not going to screw them in all the way because we actually need these to grab on. And I'll show you what that means in just a second. We're going to put two of these bolts in, just the bottom two, and about halfway in. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're just going to put two on the bottom, about halfway in. If you want to lock the wheels, just push the wheel down and it locks. And I'm going to go ahead and lock all of the wheels just to make it a little bit more sturdy while I work because we're gonna have to actually set this up um, on here. So I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna lock that in there and do the same on this side. Might have to unscrew these just a little bit more. And there we go. Now it gives us a sturdy surface um, so we can actually screw in the other two. And then once those are secure, you can put that third bolt in and uh, just screw that in as well. I'll turn this around for the last one so you can see a little better. 
All right, so on the last one, you can see right here, we've got the two screws and uh, the final screw hole there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screw those in and we should be good to go. And easy as that, it's nice and secure. So here's what the front of the stand is gonna look like and we'll continue building it in just a moment. All right, so now we're gonna turn this around and we're going to install these. So uh, these need to go on inside so these screws are going to go on the inside and we're just going to drop them in right here there we go and then we'll do the same here that one wasn't as tight that's okay then we're going to need c1 and c2 so let's go ahead and uh, rip these open here so we're going to put a washer in and then just screw these in right in the back so that they stay nice and secure and we can use the uh, allen wrench they gave us to just go ahead and screw these in nice and tight Easy as that. Looks like one of these fell off here. Let's go ahead and put that back in. There we go. Now, we're gonna get this part here. She has a nice little peel we can take off. There we go. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so this side is nice and tight. Now we're gonna do the other one. Now these two are tight. We are getting very, very close, guys. So, this is the stand itself the near hub easel studio tv cart coming up next we're going to set up the uh, screen itself the interactive whiteboard and mount it on here all right so we got the stand set up and now we're going to take care of uh, unboxing the screen and interactive whiteboard itself uh, hopefully i'm on camera here because i got it kind of uh, pointed down but i'm gonna go ahead and open this up and see what's inside also we have a contender for the biggest uh, unboxing we've done on the channel <laughs> and just to get this out a little easier I'm taking the box apart as well there we go much easier to access a box in a box we're gonna take this other part out and we will continue on to opening this box so we've got nice they've included a VESA wall mount here the BO6 VESA wall mount so we can actually put this on the wall if we plan to but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on our stand here and here we've got a user manual, power cord, two styluses, and they feel like thick pencils with a thin stylus on one side and a, a nub on the other. That's really cool. And the thing to remember about these is not only are they magnetic and connect to the screen, but up to four people can use the screen at once with up to 20 touch points. So this is quite a capable display. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. The screen is facing that way, so I'm gonna open it up on the back to get easy access. That way I don't have to yank it up and maybe drop something like that. And just like that, we've got easy access. Now, one thing we need to do is before we actually take this all the way out, we need to install the uh, mount to put it on the back of the stand. So we're just gonna grab these over here and we're gonna get them installed. So for the first one here, we're going to go ahead and let's say about right here. That's a pretty good spot. And we'll do the same on the other side. And we do need a screwdriver for this, but I'm sure I've got one of those. Once those ones are there, we have to do the same ones uh, just below. So I'll get one of these uh, red pieces again. And we'll just go ahead and screw this in. We'll do the same thing on this side. Make sure it's nice and tight. And we're good to go. So now we need to mount it onto this, actually. So there's going to be a bit of a lift here, but we should be okay. Oh, that is heavy. There is a whole ass computer in there, so you might need another person for this. I'm going to move some stuff around and continue. So we're going to lift this up just like this. And we're going to place it right on top of here. Whew, that thing is heavy, but it's in. So now we're going to lock this down by turning these that way. And then we're just gonna get some screws and we're just gonna lock this in here. That way this screen will not go anywhere. Nice and tight. And the same thing on this side. All right. Now we're just gonna place this part right back here. And one more. What screws go here? Oh, I found one. It's this one. I was using the wrong screw. This is the right one. Let me take this top one out. Much better, that actually works. So now we've got to put this little top tray up here, just like that. And we've got these little screws that'll keep it in place. And there we go. 
Now, before we turn this around, I wanna show you right here. This is the uh, brain of the computer itself, and you can see it's screwed in here. It's a little mini rack mount computer. This is Windows 11. This is a 12th generation Core i5 processor, 16 gigs of RAM and 128 gig hard drive running Windows 11, the full Windows 11. We've got four USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports, a LAN port, a Type-C port, a display port, HDMI port, mic, audio, and of course, two Wi-Fi antennas. Let's go ahead and turn this around and look how easy it is to maneuver now that it's actually on its mount. And you'll see we have another Type-C port, HDMI port, a USB for the touchscreen adapter, and two USB ports there, as well as the power button. We have eight microphones on this device. That's right, eight microphones and a 4K camera right up top. So super, super cool stuff. Now you might be saying, all right, so these pens are magnetic, you put them here, right? No, you can actually put them right here. They are magnetized and you can have your pens right on the bottom of the screen and just pull one off whenever you need to use it. That's so cool. So let's go ahead and plug this in and see what the experience is like. All right, so the machine is turning on. We're going right into the boot menu. We have power and everything, which is nice. Windows 11 is booting up. Great to see. This thing is heavy. I am sweating along with the heat in here and then trying to lift this up uh, by myself. That was very heavy. But yeah, if you got a team of two, it shouldn't be too bad. Just like that. We are in the Windows 11 experience and I can touch, use it however I'd like. If I go into paint, for example, we can load up paint. Can grab one of these and let's say draw right there very easily. If I close this, we've got our uh, very easy to use setup here. If I go ahead and hit camera, you can see that we're using our big camera there to show what's behind us. And honestly, the sky is the limit. Being able to run Windows 11 on a smart board means that you can pretty much do anything you want because you can install anything you want. You can program and make anything you want. And with four people able to use it at once, being able to jump in a Zoom meeting, share your screen and collaborate, this is just absolutely insane. So I'm gonna go back to the home here and scroll through. That's right, it supports scrolling as well. That's so freaking cool. We have mic and audio. You can install uh, your own camera system or anything you want up top um or tv boxes even whatever you want to put and uh yeah this is just a really really solid device and i honestly think all televisions should have ports on the bottom like this that's so cool it's so useful that's it for this one thank you so much for watching i'm gonna make a ton more videos using this let me know what you think in the comment section below and as always have a good one peace